Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming and provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. If you're like most triathletes, you've come to the sport later in life. In particular, you likely started taking swimming seriously later in life. Perhaps you even started swimming for the first time as an adult. And if you're like most triathletes in this respect, it's been a challenge. You've probably even heard of the term adult onset swimming. It's where individuals start learning to swim as adults. And because they started learning later in life, they're lacking in skill as compared to those who started learning as children. And the unfortunate implication is that there's nothing you can do about it. For over 20 years, I've worked with just about every type of individual that's motivated to improve their swimming. From learn to swim children to 70 year old triathletes and master swimmers. For the past 15 years, I've also coached competitively in the NCAA collegiate system. I've worked with athletes just trying to get a spot on the team to world champions and Olympic medalists. I've always seen swimming as a skill sport. I've understood that it's critical for performance and as such, I've always sought to understand every technical nuance so that I could help individuals swim faster. I then worked to communicate this knowledge to athletes so that they can improve their swimming. Unfortunately, while it worked for younger athletes, this approach never really worked for adult swimmers. Not nearly as much as I felt it should. I tried changing how I conveyed the information and the activities that I had these individuals perform. Same result. One day, however, I was working with someone who was really frustrated. They said to me, man, it's always just such a struggle. I just can't get comfortable in the water. I don't know why something clicked in my brain, but it did. It was then that I realized that adult onset swimming is not a freestyle problem, it's a comfort problem. Kids have 10 years to learn how to get comfortable in the water. Further, they're in no rush to learn the specific details of freestyle technique. In contrast, most adult athletes never get comfortable in the water because they miss out on this long-term learning experience. This situation is made worse because adults are locked in on improving their freestyle technique yesterday. They have no interest wasting their time improving their relationship with the water. That was the difference. From that point on, I made comfort in the water a huge priority, especially with adults. As a result, they improved much faster. Time and cumulative exposure it matters as it takes a while to get comfortable in the water. As you know, adult onset swimmers are in a huge rush to improve, and so I certainly didn't have 10 years to help someone get comfortable in the water as I would with a younger swimmer. In response, I learned how to accelerate this process with specific strategies. I did so so that adults can make up for lost time, get comfortable, and improve their swimming. If you're an adult onset swimmer, you don't have a freestyle problem. You have a comfort problem, and it can be fixed. For instance, take a woman I worked with named Lena. Her background might sound just like yours. She wanted to compete in triathlons with an open water swim, but she really struggled with her swimming. It wasn't just that she wanted to improve her speed, she simply couldn't sustain her swimming. Finishing the swim was the issue. Of course, the same issues that prevent you from sustaining your swimming kill your speed as well. The typical approach would have been to work on her freestyle, what her arm's doing, how she's kicking, and so on. Rather than working on the specific skills of swimming, we worked on getting her comfortable in the water and learning how to transfer that comfort into her swimming. As a result, she was able to triple the distance she could swim in a very short period of time. Even better, it was faster and easier than she was used to. And while she certainly swam some freestyle during this period, not once were we focused on the specific details of freestyle technique. Now, you may be thinking that she's exceptional or different somehow and that you wouldn't be able to accomplish the same goals. However, I use strategies and exercises that anyone can do. They're specifically designed to be done by anyone regardless of their experience or their ability level. She's only different because she got different results by taking a different approach. However, she came to me with the same complaints that you probably have. She just used a, an approach that you probably haven't. Most importantly, I've never met Lena. These improvements can be achieved without my presence, and in fact, that's how they were designed to be. The strategies I use aren't dependent on the feedback loop involving a coach. The strategies themselves provide the feedback. She did it all by herself, simply by focusing on the strategies and the exercises I provided to her. So what did we do? 
Stay tuned for the next video where I lay out the strategy I used for Lena. It's the same strategy that you can use to improve your swimming. It can be used by anyone and you don't have to be an expert or have an expert on hand to make it happen. I'll show you how it's done. If you found this insightful in any way, please share it with a friend. Help them understand that dramatically improving their swimming is possible, even if they started swimming later in life. Share it on social media or forward them the link. I'll see you in the next video.